In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In seven years leading the Diocese of San Diego, Cardinal Designate Robert McElroy has established a ministry that mirrors Pope Francis. I think most, most emblematic is that phrase he used some years ago, the church is a field hospital. Do you remember the image in Gone with the Wind? Mm-hmm. When, when you could see there are thousands and thousands of wounded people lying on the street. That's what I think of the Pope's images. How can the gospel be applied to people's lives that help them? In this border city, McElroy welcomes immigrants, celebrates multiculturalism, focuses on the environment and the poor. Don't we think that deserves at least $15 an hour? The 68-year-old serving as he's always wanted. I can't really remember a time when I did not want to be a priest. The second of five children, McElroy grew up in suburban San Francisco and attended high school seminary. For college, he went to Harvard, earning a history degree, and Stanford for a master's and then a Ph.D. in political science. How has your secular education shaped your ministry? I think that it allows me to get outside of the church frame of reference. For years, he's been at odds with the U.S. Bishops' Conference, that abortion is the number one issue in the church. It is not Catholic teaching that abortion is the preeminent issue. And since 2004, McElroy's preached against weaponizing communion. Would you deny a politician communion based on how they vote on abortion or any other issue? I would not. I think it's an assault on the Eucharist. It's taking the symbol of unity in the church, which makes us all one sacramentally in Jesus Christ, and making it a sign of division. A divided U.S. church that is losing members. How do you re-engage Catholics who see the church as a set of rules rather than a ministry? Being Catholic is not a set of beliefs or of rules. It is a personal relationship with God and Jesus Christ. Cardinal-designate McElroy will help select Francis' successor. He says he wants someone who can communicate the faith, but he doesn't think it should be an American because it would just be seen as more accumulation of power for the United States. Now, with these new cardinals, Pope Francis will have appointed 63 percent the men who will choose his successor. Thank you for that. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.